Hello guys, so this is going to be video for dummies how to start uh, how to how to easily start the generator on a natural gas or propane when it's cold okay and it is cold take my word for it this is the muffler okay I would not be having my hand here if it wasn't cold it was sitting just uh, since yesterday but uh, as you might know if you have a generator sitting uh, since yesterday or since last year and you're running the generator on the propane or natural gas it really doesn't matter so uh, number one I want to I want to say that uh, uh, when you convert the generator to the natural gas just start it on a gasoline and then when it's running and running out of the gas when you shut off the gas let it run out of the gas but while it's still running adjust this uh, flow of the uh, propane or natural gas to the generator so it's much easier to adjust it once the generator is running okay it's much harder to start it on, on, uh, on propane when if you don't know where this uh, bolt supposed to be you know how, how deep how much gas you're supposed to let in to the carburetor so just start it on a gasoline and then when it's running out switch to the propane and uh, it's, it's much easier this way and this is just very simple conversion this is just the Garrison uh, regulator and uh, and nipple here going into the filter box in front of the filter or let's say behind the filter pretty much closer to the carburetor okay uh, so the filter is uh, on the um, well let's say this is between the filter and the carburetor I don't know why I didn't I open this box but I guess I just forgot so anyway the inlet is between the filter and the carburetor okay and uh, so that, that, that's number one thing just just adjust this this screw to the, to the proper uh, position uh, when it's running and when you start it on gasoline and switch it to the propane and now when the generator is cold again it might be kind of uh, hard to get it started if you want to start it only on a propane or natural gas but that's what I want to show you so uh, Let's uh, set the camera here. Okay, this should be probably a good angle. And uh, very simple. It's uh, almost just like uh, almost just like uh, starting it on a uh, gasoline. Um, with, with, with this thing, it's, it's just like a choke also. So let me turn on the propane and. Uh, this is the way, this is the best position for running, the way the bolt is adjusted right now. Now, when you start it cold, you want to add a little more gas or propane to it, pretty much. So you're opening the bolt. Let's say about three quarter turn in, in this case. Okay. And then you should be able to easily get it started on. Uh, uh, and, uh, natural gas or propane and I am so confident I can do it that I even remove my gas tank and now I'm going to show you uh, how to start a cold one so like I said again this is the optimal running position just to get a little more gas about a half a turn maybe three quarter turn so you pretty much just like opening a little more gas just like the choke coming into the carburetor, okay? And, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, did you want me to push the button on the electric start or pull the rope? Uh, pull the rope? Okay, yeah, I thought so. Because the pull the rope is always harder, right? Yeah, okay, well, let's see. Uh, the rope is right here. So let me move this over. Uh, everything is ready to go. 
so push the prime button and this uh, regulator. <laughs> All right, and let's see. Okay, and it should start on a second pull, always, because just because it's a propane or a natural gas. The first pull, hardly ever. Maybe when it's warm, but when it's cold, let's try it again. It's still cold. Now, we still have a hand on the, on the muffler, but, you know, didn't work much. So again, turn it halfway or three quarter, let's say three quarter. Turn. Now let's put it halfway or something in between. So it's going to get a little more flow of the propane. Ah, you don't want to, yeah, I know. You want me to pull the rope again, right? Okay, so let's pull the rope again. Choke it a little bit. One, two. Well, you know, if I turn on, if I turn on the, uh, the button right there, it will work. So let's try again. One. Almost. Maybe it's too much. Uh. It was too much. It's pretty hot outside, it's about 90 degrees, so the engine is actually just warm from the air. So it doesn't need much shock. So let's do, I tell you what, let's do about eh, between quarter and half a ton, okay? And turn on the engine, don't forget. Let's see how that's going. Alright? <laughs> You should be even able to get it started with uh, optimal running position when it's warm outside, like today. I was just uh, doing a little uh, demonstration on how to do it when it's cold. So when it's cold, you would need to add a little more gas, but when it's like 90 degrees, I'm pretty sure I can do it with it on. I can do it with uh, without the choke, without the choke. <laughs> That's all it is. It's like a piece of cake. Let's put it this way. All right, good luck with it. Yes, and uh, for those who want to see it running on a natural gas, okay, this uh, greenhouse is going into my house. Whatever, there's a gas meter right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. Anyway, this hose is disconnected, okay, from the uh, propane tank. So it's a pretty much uh, same same scenario, except you need a little more natural gas in in here because uh, natural gas doesn't burn as rich as propane. Propane burns almost as rich as gasoline, very close, but natural gas is about it halfway of propane and also it has a little less uh, pressure maybe like a maybe like a uh, one half of uh, uh, psi but that doesn't mean much but anyway uh, so this is a good setting for propane in this scenario i would just uh, open it up one full turn and this would be the good setting for natural gas and if you want to choke it a little bit, again, 
just open it up halfway a little more and uh, let's see how it's gonna start okay it's probably good so now it should be good for a start um, yeah you want me to pull the rope again right I guess so choke it up make sure it's on okay another choke and second one You want me to get a little more tired, right? So I sleep better. All right. Open it up a little more. Well, maybe it's too hot, so let's try it on very well. I guess the engine is uh, here. The engine is hot enough right now, so it doesn't need a choke. Or my left hand is too tired, so I cannot pull as strong to start it up. One more time, and without a choke. It just makes me mad that it didn't start. And I'm gonna use my right hand, okay? So, I got a little more power. You're gonna see my ass for a couple minutes. Excuse me, but. Choke it up, and I right, choke. <laughs> it does need a swift pull. If you have really good configured generator and a gasoline, let's say a new one, you just you can just pull the rope really, you know, like. Uh, about a half of uh, half of the strength that you need to pull it for for gas or, or propane that actually does require swift pull. One more time, just to make me happy. I guess uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Good luck with it.